So hello, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, my fellow creative designers and content creators. Welcome once again to another exciting episode on this channel. And in today's episode, this is what you are going to design. You are going to design this beautiful church flyer in Photoshop. And guys, if this seems to be interesting to you, kindly stick around and let's walk through the tutorials step by step from beginning to the end. I'm going to make sure it's going to be practical and step by step beginner's guide. So please, if this seems to be interesting to you, please comment, subscribe, like and share and let's grow the channel together. So without wasting much time, control N to open a new document and then give it the document name. So it's a church flyer, so you can just give it church flyer. And then because it's a social media handle, the size is 2000 by 2000 resolution 300 and it's a social media handle flyer. So everything here is okay. So I'll click on create and then I have a nice canvas size or interface like this with me. The first thing we are going to do is to work on or to work on the background. Yes. So I have all the resources file here, guys, the link will be in the description for you to download and practice it for free. So I'll drag this background down here and then release it in Photoshop and then scale it up a bit and then push it down just like this. Then I'll scale it this side and guys, it's okay. So let me scale it again. Yeah, let me scale it again. And this is awesome. This is awesome. I'll add layer mask to it and then be on a keyboard to activate the brush tool. And then let me increase the brush size and then clear parts like this away. Let me clear this part away. Very nice, very nice, very nice. So the second background is also employed in. I'll drag this and then release it nicely in Photoshop. Guys, always wait for it to load. All right, so this is done. And then I'll click on OK to just make sure it's inside there. I'll hold Alt and then drag this side to fit the screen and I'll push it up like this. Scale, drag, scale it up and then press enter to check it and then this i think yes that one to add layer must be on the keyboard and then let me clear this side and then put some um things like this and guys i think this is awesome this is awesome i'll check my blending option and then put it on i think darker color yes darker color is okay so just like that and that is awesome and then i'll go to my again resources file and then drag this and release it in photoshop good and then i'll push it up like this and then press enter and another blending option and this is awesome oh let's check this i think this is awesome this is awesome either screen or color dodge or any of these things will be good to go and i think screen is okay so i'll press enter and that is awesome for the meantime so everything i'll put everything in a group control g and then call it the background all right so our background is set nicely the next thing we are going to work is we are going to bring the logo drag the logo in that is 11th hour prophetic ministry i'll push it up like this and then that is awesome control a to select it and then let's center it this way and then control d to deselect it and i'm going to bring the shadow i added a shadow so drag the shadow like this and then release it in photoshop and push it up yes attached to the logo like that and then position it using the arrow keys yes position it nicely and yeah i think this is awesome then let me add a layer mask and then clear this side be on the keyboard to activate the brush tool and clear this side and then control g uh, control g and then call it the logo all right so our logo is set nicely the next thing is that you are going to deal with the text yes you are going to deal with the text so i have all the text here for the purpose of fast working I've typed them here. So let me select this prophecy control C T on the keyboard hit here control V to paste it. And then I use a font called Anton font. Yes, Anton font. And then change it to all caps. And then control T again to scale it up. Yes, control T to scale it up. 
and that is awesome and then we check on the gradient overlay i'll double click this side or you can go to the fx here and then go to the uh, gradient overlay and this is the gradient overlay i set for the purpose of the work here the hex code is ff6208 ff6208 and then that is okay and then i came to this side and then here too is d73602 that is it all right and then here too was a red color which is b90f 00, zero b90 zero f 00, zero so that is it and then everything is okay so click on okay and then you add it okay like this and you can drag it put out and then drag it to this side and then go and add the next test which is prophetic double click this side sorry select or control v to paste it and then that is awesome that is awesome that is awesome I think we need to scale this up. We need to scale this up a bit. And then this is awesome, this is awesome. And then the next thing is to bring this tag, drag it here like this, and then go and pick your verses. Control C to paste it, T on the keyboard, and then T on the keyboard. If it's not activating, hit here, and then press here, Control V to paste it and then let's push it to the tag control t to reduce the size of the tag yeah make sure it's a little and scale it up this way now push the vest on the tag good awesome and then go to this carters and change the color to white awesome that is exactly what we did that is exactly what we did now use the arrow key to position it well and then take this select all and then push it to this side you can scale it this way and then add like this this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome so i think this and this in a group control g and then you can call it the team all right so the team is also set the team is also set and then the date and the time yes just pick the date control c and t over here if it's not activating hit here control v to paste it and that we use a font called balega font so let me go and change the font quickly and then i'll break here apart and then i'll double click on the 2023 and then increase the size to that is okay and then i'll come and change here to 24 to so making it 20 24 and then i'll open this side open here open this and this is okay this is awesome this is awesome now hold alt and then drag to this side yeah drag to the right side which makes it perfect uh, duplicate and then let's go and double click on or select the date and then paste it inside double click inside and then control v to paste it Good. Now let me break here to a part. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And then close the lead in. Let's close it. Let's close it. Let's close it. And this is awesome. This is awesome. This is awesome. Let's set our guide. Go to view. Go to guide and new guide layout. And set here to success. It's awesome. And make sure everything is centered and aligned. Yes, let's center and align this side. That is the date and the time we center and align it so this and this make date and time date and time all right so our date and time is also set nicely so the next thing we are going to do is to add the images so i have the image in which i had from one of our favorite designers so i drag it in photoshop and then release it this way now scale it down a bit to make sure it's in the center align awesome awesome this is awesome and the other one you saw i turned the image to black and white so let's do same for the purpose of the tutorials you can leave it in a colored form like this but for the purpose of tutorials you right click it and then rasterize type control control shift and then u to turn the image to black and white and then we, we added a layer mask 
and then clear part of the down. Reduce the brush stroke and then clear the side. And then that is where we place that information is like the social media handles, the venue and other things. So the names were imported here. Let's quickly go and drag the names and bring them here so that the tutorials will not be too long. Awesome. So let me select everything here. Select everything here. That is the names. I'll select everything here. Yes, I'll select everything here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And then push it up this way. Push it this way and then release it. Boom. Now the name is set. Awesome. The name is set. Good, 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 good. Now you can position them properly. You can position them properly. Yeah, you can position them properly. So let me push it up a bit. And this is awesome. Control G. And then you call it the names. Or better still, let's put the names and the image in one folder. Yes, the names and the images images in one folder. Control G like this. Yeah, and then this becomes names and images. Names and images. Alright, so if you if you choose a folder, you realize that it's no, the names didn't come. The names didn't come. Ah, uh, so okay, okay. So then let's separate them. Let's separate them since the name didn't come in one size. So name. So, all right. Then let's change here to only images because awesome, awesome, awesome. So you see, good, good. This is perfect. This is perfect. This is perfect. Then let's push the theme up a bit. Let's push the theme and then the date to date and time. Let's push it up good because it's conflicting with the names awesome 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 let's check and adjust the name because it's going overboard yeah now i think it's in line and then the next thing is that we are going to deal with the locations and other things and i want to let's just quickly pick them and bring them here so i have them here this is the venue and everything is here so you can just pick drag it this way and then bring it here nicely like that and then the font i use was still i think i use uh montserrat font yes for the venue control g and then post it in a group and then call it venue yes i use a montserrat font so let me go and click it here yes a montserrat boat and then the down one is also Montserrat regular and then my location icon is also there nicely yeah so please all everything is here everything is in the resources you can download them and then practice it yeah so the location here and everything 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 is there everything is there so the next thing is that we are going to work on the social media handles which is this so i'll just select them the social media and uh, that is a streaming live location so i'll drag it and then release it this way nicely and position it nicely yeah let's position it nicely control g to put it in a group and then call it streaming streaming location okay awesome 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 let's see if we can push the venue up a bit and then the streaming locations to also go up a bit and guys this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome in short this is how we're able to achieve this beautiful chat fire and then when we are done we are not done yet i think we still have something to do so that is adding the beauty Control alt shift and e to merge everything in one layer right click and then convert to smart object and then come to filter and then select camera or filter and always wait for it to load yeah always wait for it to load now camera or filter is set so let's adjust all this and 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 things here and make sure we add beauty to the class so first of all I'll start with the temperature and i'll push the temperature to this side or just be adjusting so pushing it to minus 20 is awesome for me let's see exposure i push exposure to to somewhere minus 0.55 contrast let's see contrast 
okay contrast 20 is okay highlight let me see highlight something like minus 45 is awesome guys it's 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 at your pleasure so just be boosting it the way you like so let me see black i push black to the side and it's not adding anything so texture let me see if texture is awesome here and i think texture whether this is awesome. okay so let me see clarity and then i'll be boosting them per my choice yeah per my choice clarity okay and then let's see and um, vibrance so vibrance to i think vibrance this is awesome so guys after boosting everything and if everything is okay for you let's see before and after so you realize that this is the before and this is the after the after look great than the before you can still do more after experimenting on all everything here and if you are okay then you click on okay for it to be added to the whole design so guys you realize that this is the before again and this is the after so guys let me know in the comment section below how do you feel before and after let me know how you feel and then you can also add it you can check the blending option again and set a blending option to it like let's see this and this is also great this is also great so you can even go through the blending options and check one for yourself and i think i'll go for pin light or let's go through maybe you have something great more than the pin light so we are going through we are going through we are going through we are going through to check and i think the pin light is okay so click on pin light and guys this is how we're able to achieve this beautiful church flyer in photoshop kindly subscribe to this channel like share comment and then join my social media handles and let's interact from there i love you i'll see you in the next tutorials bye for now